if that's ever going to come down. Hi there. With the recent announcement that the Canadian Space Agency will be revitalized, we've decided that we need to be prepared by going back to grade school to do some science. Specifically, we have two teams of two who will be competing to see who can create the best egg enclosure such that an untampered with egg can survive re-entry from being dropped off of a building. We have Beej and Ian versus Surge and Wheeler. They're gonna do some planning and then we're gonna go shopping for materials and then there's construction and then then we throw eggs off a building. So let's do it. So there's a few different ways we can do this and I have just messed up already. What if we just cushion the landing? I'm thinking pillows, I'm thinking kiddie pool. I'm trying to draw a hexagonal sequence, so I start with an octagon. So, right, so far what we know is that we're both very bad at drawing. Mm -hmm. Perfect. How is that cheating? Is that in the spirit of the challenge? The spirit of the challenge is to win the challenge. Yes, it's to protect the egg. Yes. Like some type of mother goose. Yes. That's my oof. Which is French for egg. Which is about all I remember from grade school. So we get something that cushions it, like catches it as the egg falls. You're proposing like layers in in the air? It only has to survive once in the real world, but I have a feeling that we're going to be dropping from progressively larger heights as the, night, as the day goes on. Parachute? Parachute well, on let's, egg. Let's, let's draw parachute some, an let's, egg? Let's draw some things here. Okay, this is our egg. I was thinking uh, a jar filled with corn syrup that we place the egg inside because it would be, not be a non-Newtonian yeah, fluid, Yeah, good right? viscosity. Yeah, but the moment it hits the ground, it will shatter. So, now that's... I, I like that. All right, and then we have ropes around it. Take some expanding foam. Oh Maybe yeah! Like, take a PVC pipe. Put all of our egg in one <laughs> basket. One basket, and then the basket has the parachute. Very delicately cut around the edge of the egg, like a like an avocado. Right. Twist it open, and you can get to that egg. Right. Do you have any idea how to construct a parachute? God no. <laughs> if we can create a cradle, something we can slip the egg inside. Yeah. What about gelatin? Fill it with jello? If we put it, if we fill it with jello. Like a microphone shock mount. Yeah, yeah. All our eggs in yeah, one basket. All of our eggs in one basket, yeah. Parachute. Okay. Safety catch. Safe pool. 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 Trampoline? No. So as big as a loaf of bread. Mm -hmm. We could just get a loaf of bread. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <we> could. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we got a, a solid concept, and now we just have to find a store that sells little army men with parachutes. What else is soft that can actually take an impact? I, we, we could put in the watermelon. This challenge is supposed to be reminiscent of our youth, right? Like in elementary school. Yeah. I probably haven't been to a Toys R Us since then either. What else is more delicate and gentle than our own hands? Which... So you're talking about getting fake mannequin hands? Meat. Oh. Okay, yeah. And if you take the bones out of meat, you get softer hands. That's right. <laughs> so, two big things of meat. Yeah, just ground beef or ground pork. Yeah. Put the egg in top. Saran wrap yeah. it together. Yeah. <laughs> and if it breaks, we've got steak tartare. Yay! <laughs> clear the board. All right. What are Easter baskets holding? Eggs! They're made to hold eggs! It's a basket. It's a, a filling to cushion the egg. And there's probably ceremonial parachutes there too. And there we have it. That's we've we've made a we've made a raw egg sandwich. We, we've scienced. I can't I Christ, I think this could work. I think I honestly do too. This is the smartest plan we've ever had. Maybe we should find a small cube-shaped box. And then we can pack that with beef. Really, what we just want is a uh, is a meat containment vessel. Yeah. So that the uh, the meat doesn't go away when it hits the ground. Well, I'm not pretending I understand physics. At You're... least in, in relating to dropping an egg. Filling it with Jello does sound good, but budget, my dude, budget. Jello is out of the <laughs> kites, Serge. Kites. Then you have to catch it with chopsticks at the end. Yeah, Nagashi Tamagots. <laughs> large or extra large? Yeah, I think we just go just big. Buy a big, buy a big bunch of meat. Toys R Us, which by the way, we still have in Canada, 
doesn't really have what we need, so we're gonna try the dollar store across the street. I have a way better idea than a parachute. If we can't find parachutes, this is it. Look, we can celebrate our victory. I, I kind of love this. Okay, what if we find one with a lighter straw? We need a basket. Yeah. And I still want the idea of a kiddie pool. Party lays. And a packet of uh, fried onions. See, this is just genius. Who needs a kiddie pool when you have something as soft and cushiony as to support a little pupper? And you just put a bunch of lays in here and then the egg is going to sleep soundly. All we need now is a container for the meat, which I use feel it. like something like a small gift box would be appropriate. Yeah, something like um, cubic yeah. to allow for equal from all sides. Yeah, but um, not so big that it's going to take all, everything. Dollar store. I think you're right. Probably. Let's give it a try. All right. Oh no! Quick, hide! Hide, hide, hide. <laughs> Good evening. This is our best bet. Very, very, very lightweight basket. Which balloons do we pick? Well, there's a balloon that says I love you on it, and that's just kind of adorable. Unicorn power. Hell yeah. Dude. Yeah? Okay. Hell yeah. This is Canadian engineering at its finest. <laughs> and then you're gonna open it up. <laughs> Why do you have bunny ears? <laughs> do you want to use that? I think I do. Thank you. How do we get these back? I'll ride on top of the oh, car the and hold back. Photo. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, let me let me get the keys out. Careful, Ben. All right, straight towards me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Team Surge and Ben have acquired their stuff, and we're now heading back to the moon base. too full of ourselves, but there is no way this can fail. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Whose is that? Surgeon Ben's. Oh my god. <laughs> this is incredible. Oh, I just yeah. need to put on my thinking cap. <laughs> I'm so happy that you two are here doing... Science! Yes. Assembly time. Yes, we've got all the materials necessary. We have the exterior armor yep. with the uh, built-in crumple zones. Mm -hmm. And we have the interior uh, shock absorption material. And I'll unwrap this, uh, this absorbent material. It's got a secondary inner layer. Okay, now all we need is string, yeah. scissors, so yeah. you can make a little cage, and then we're done. The science does all the rest. Oh yeah. Never fun. settle for good enough, Ben. This egg or this egg? Oh, oh, this is good. This is good material. All right. So let's see if we can get about half of it. You have close to two thirds there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Let's so spread that out a bit. A lay completely fills this. I thought you meant <laughs> just to like take lay. There we go. No! <laughs> I was thinking on the car ride home, I'm like, I don't think we bought enough lace for this. <laughs> We're moving in the right direction. Great. Okay. And let's nestle that. Perfect. Perfection. Mmm, that's, that's some, uh, that's some old beef. <laughs> Not surprised that this was on clearance. Mm -hmm. It's kind of, kind of ready for it to go. Yep. Smell. And go it will. <laughs> Wow, Beach, I'm always damn it. Yep. Flight check at three. <laughs> <laughs> How much can an egg weigh? Egg weigh like four balloons? Time to button this thing up, I think. I will. I will come assist. Okay. Four. <laughs> Let's flip it down. Good. Engage. Oh, I might cry. <laughs> You're so proud. I'm so proud of us. There we go. That should be enough to keep it from popping open. Excellent. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I am so proud of us. This is, this is beautiful. 
I think we've done good work. Time to go to space. What a view. Oh god, the wind. What a beautiful day to safely land our egg child. We have now come to Bastion Square because they have a parkade where we can do increasing height drops to see how it goes until something fails. The plan is that they're both gonna drop from probably the second level to start with. If they both succeed, then they're gonna drop again from higher up and basically keep going until one fails and the one that doesn't fail is the winner. And if they both fail at the same time, well, the whole thing will be anticlimactic, but I can't wait to see it happen. This is it, this is the showdown. Uh, we have our apparatus. Our sarcophagus, one might say. Mm -hmm. Do you guys know how dumb you look right now? <laughs> Just showing up to an egg drop with a lunch kit? Yeah. 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 Look we at us. This we is... look pretty silly. Yeah. yeah. You guys sure have egg on your face. Huh? This is our apparatus for our precious egg child. And it is very safe. Very, very safe. Easy Why to control. Why the wind? Mm -hmm. Oh god, steady, the wind. Steady. They, they have you to hit a target? Because if you have to hit a target, I'm a little concerned. I, I, we've done some tests. The science is impeccable. Our egg child will emerge from this safe. I'm impressed with the level of design and, uh, and, well, let's say colorful choices that have been made here. Execution is a plus here, really. We really focused on whimsy mm. when it came to the construction of our device. No kidding. <laughs> I'm really worried about the, I'm, the, the, the mention of execution. I'm I'm a little more concerned about the preemptive celebration they're engaging in. Thinking yeah. they're going to win this round. <laughs> and 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 the message of love to our egg child. Uh -huh. Really should have accounted for wind, being that the one issue we ran into while over trying to get over. back to the base was wind. This is why you want a sleek aerodynamic casing. Can't wait to find out how this works. <laughs> okay, let's do this because I can't hold on to my son anymore. Okay, okay, let's go. Back in the day, shuttle launches were something of a family event. You would gather around and watch the spectacular nature of going to the infinities and. We like to think we've replicated that in our loving egg child this apparatus. Weird simulacrum of a of a family that's watching the egg slowly land. I'm not gonna lie, it's yeah. a lot creepier than I wanted it to be. Alright, my precious egg child. Go, well, sir. go to your home, right in the basket. Oh no the wind! Oh, oh god no. the wind! Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> Fine, it's fine. We prepared for this. You can return this bad boy to the grocery store. Look at that. I don't think this looks anymore. I'll do my best. Okay. Good, good start. Is it raw bed? No. It's raw meat. <laughs> Yes. The egg is fine. I'm so upset right now. This is so good. I cannot believe this works so well. Are you ready to kick it up a level? <laughs> yes, let's up the difficulty. Stage two. Ready? Launching. Even if the egg did, I don't know if the vessel survived. Slowly, slowly. Oh, I'm so, oh no. Oh yeah! And the egg is fine. The egg is fine. As soon as I saw tendrils of ground beef <laughs> sticking out, I had a sinking suspicion. That we were kind of like, oh no. Oh god. We might be in trouble here. <laughs> We're in trouble. Yeah, I guess. This is the strongest beef I've seen in a while. <laughs> the problem is, can I bend the container back? See, this is my hope, is that I have I have more faith in your beef holding up, but your minion's lunchbox <laughs> will hopefully be obliterated by the next drop. This is not doing so well. <laughs> I think we should try again with the bed. Should I move the uh, little toys? No, no, that's okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Alright, egg drop two in three, two, one. Look at a lot more. Oh god, the wind. Come on. 
No. <laughs> Come on, go to the back. Where? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> No, 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 no. Didn't make a sound while I'm down here. Yeah, Let me grab down here. Saran wrap. Thank you. <laughs> Is our child okay, Ben? Oh, what do we have here? It's a perfectly fine egg. You've got a lot of padding in there. I'm. I'm a little worried about our meat. Our water. padding is a single lay, a chopped up single lay. Ben, I give you the first go because let's be fair, this is probably not going to make it. <laughs> That's awfully kind of you. That's very ambitious that this will land there, sir. You might need to go back about 20 feet. Yeah, that's exactly where it's aiming for. Oh, oh, oh. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's a beautiful landing. That's and that's exactly where I wanted it. That's exactly where I wanted it. Oh. One flawless egg. We did it! Hot dog! Wow, damn. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. The weird thing is is that I didn't think it would make it to the previous point. And now I am confident that it can make it past this point. Here we go, three, two, one. <laughs> that was really loud. That was really, really loud. It's so gross. It, nothing gross, but it's perfectly natural, Serge. What did you have in Ground beef. There's meat. Spilling out of the oh, lunch. there would be, wouldn't there? Oh, at that, yeah. at that kind of drop. Mm. Oh. Yeah, there'd be meat spilling out of anything, really. Is it okay? Oh, I don't God. understand. That's an eggy boy. How? This is unbelievable. How does it keep working? It doesn't make sense. It's so gross. I can't believe it. <laughs> this is so great. <laughs> I am so horrified that it continues to work. Me too. Let's make sure we got enough uh, <laughs> material there, though. Careful, Ian, there's a dog coming. <laughs> it might really like your capsule. Two heights to go. Will your capsule survive? Up to this point, Beach has been the one who's been repacking the egg. Oh. And so I don't... Your first time packing the egg. I don't know that I've... Is there a secret technique? I don't know, that's the problem. Oh, no. This is now we're getting into the hard science okay. of putting an egg into ground beef I inside of a mini yeah. lunchbox. Well, Beach, I'm out of breath, yeah. out of shape, yeah. but not out of hope. It's good. Got plenty of that. In the spirit of how it's been going, I guess I will go first again. By all means. Three, two, one. Oh. I've heard fat kids make that sound when they hit the water. There is. Ooh. I yeah. was that fat kid. We have a breach. We have a breach. All right. Oh, oh no! no! Egg down! Egg down. Egg down. It was finally due its time. Well, we'll see what happens to you if you end up on the roof. I was really hoping we could get to a full stack height but unfortunately it looks like the meat cushioning system or at the very least my packing job wasn't up to snuff so <sighs> disappointment serge i hope you're able to actually uh complete your drop can i just point out that it hit the ground hard enough that there's actually meat sprayed on the surroundings it's really <laughs> good so pleased. i believe in our sweet egg child all right ben where do you think he's landing uh, i can't get that far with the bed basket I believe. All right, come to me, Ben. Watch me fly, Dad! Watch me fly! Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Good. Wait. Good. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Come on. This is so beautiful. Oh, oh. No. Oh, my God, please. Please. No. 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 Oh, so close. Mmm, oh, real, mm, real oh, close, real close, mmm, but not oh. quite. Serge, 
It took Elon Musk years to be able to get this close to a landing zone. You don't wake up in the morning thinking you'll make that shot, but when you come that close, you sure as hell believe you can. I'm really impressed. We're good. We're good. Excellent. I guess that means you're the victor. I touched meat with this hand, so let's do the there. That's better. <laughs> that's better. We did it. We did it. <laughs> oh, this was it was a dream come true. I know, really. I remember th thinking in my youth that I never really got a chance to to live the dream, and we got there. It really makes me ask just how far this can be pushed. It is a technology that has merit that requires a further, more in-depth study. Do you think it was the meat or the box that ultimately led to the problem there? Like, if the if the the, the lunch tin was more structurally sound, could you have kept going? Yes. Ooh. Yes. The meat and the tin were both involved. Yes. <laughs> they were both part <laughs> I mean, of our calculations. Yeah, three ingredients, mm -hmm. right? Certainly meat, not egg, tin. Yep. I certainly not in all the packing technique, which I actually believe was. What kept us in the race for those first couple was your ingenious packing technique Thank of that so egg much. back into the beef. I, and the way you dropped it, I think, actually uh, worked with how I was doing it too, because clearly dropping it flat and making the big thump, I could have dropped it on a corner and it would have packed all the meat into the edge, and I, I could think, have actually cradled it more. I think the wide surface area is better for fall. It should it should make the it should make disperse the, it the better. physics yeah. disperse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, now that we're done here with our soft throws, let's soft throw another one and uh, land back at the studio. I'm not entirely sure how this happened, but you have a little bit of ground beef on your boat. 